Good morning, my name is Ryan Reem. And I'm just Belindo. Here's today's news. Today we're talking about the county's first ever soup herbal. Plans to repair the industrial park. A suspected Chinese spy balloon making its way to the U.S. And our beloved here Florida man coming up on Red Raider News starting, starting now. now. Coffee County School District is launching its first ever Super Bowl drive to support student families. With it starting earlier this week, the community was invited to donate canned goods to the drive. The drive will run all the way through Friday, February 10th, with the goal of collecting food for student families in need. If you or your business, church, or organization would like to make a difference by donating, please contact Carrie Davis. Please. The Covet County Industrial Board is planning on using about $1.2 million in industrial taxes for much needed repairs at the Covet County Industrial Park. Well, the Industrial Board Executive Director Stephen Crook told the county's budget and finance committee that some of the streets are severely damaged. There will be a plan to get all this fixed in about three years, and get this, it will be executed in three phases. Phase 1 will consist of a million dollar paving project, $40,000 in shoulder stone and culvert repairs, $15,000 in street lighting upgrades, and $50,000 for signs. Phase 2 will have $512,700 spent on more paving with added improvements and ditch regarding. And finally, Phase 3, which will be a two-year project aimed to wrap up any other needed repairs with a budget of over $200,000. Well, hopefully this project will be a success. Besides, anything to help out the committee is a good thing. You need a new hat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Coming up next is... Christian Frazier with the Weekly Weather Report. My life has been amazing. I got my first car, met a girl, graduated high school, top of my class. Then I went to my dream college on a full ride athletic scholarship. Graduated with a bachelor's degree and remember the girl? She became my wife. Then some years passed, quite a few years. Then my wife and I built a house had two beautiful children. Then I got my first big promotion. Life went on. I raised kids and before I knew it they were as old as I was. In my old age I thought a lot about the legacy I would leave as I looked at my grandkids playing with the widest smiles on their faces. My life had its ups and downs. But that's just life. A life I never got to live. A legacy I never got to fulfill because I died of an opioid addiction. Now my legacy it's just a bottle. Hello, good people of Manchester. My name is Christian Frazier. I'm here with this week's weather forecast. Friday, we're going to have a high of 37 with a low of 20, mostly sunny. Saturday looks like a high chance of 52 with a low of 37, mostly cloudy. Sunday, we are expected a high of 56 with a low of 34, and also mostly cloudy. Now for some insight into next week. Monday, we're looking at a high chance of 63 and a low of 45. Mostly cloudy. Tuesday with a high of 65, a low of 48, with the day being mostly cloudy. Stay warm, and most of all, stay safe. I'm Christian Frazier, and I will see you next time. Coming up next is Matthew Bloomquist with today's sports. Bye, Mom. Love you. This will be my last son. Tell my mom I love her. This will be my last time walking down the driveway with my mom. This will be my last time grabbing the mail. For more information or ways you can help, please visit nhtsa.gov. Good morning, Coffee County. My name is Matthew Bloomquist, and I'm bringing you the latest in today's sports news. To start things off, the Lady Raiders forced 21 turnovers and improved their record to 27-1 and with the win. Senior Chloe Gannon racked up 23 points, along with 14 from Shannon Gannon and 11 from Olivia Real. Meanwhile, the Red Raider boys were never able to get the lid off the basket and fell to the Rebels. In other news, senior Emily Tarpley recently signed with the University of Cumberland to continue her athletic and academic career. 
Alongside Coffee County standout athlete Jalen Osborne, who will continue his football career at Austin P. State University. That's it for today's news. I'm Matthew Blumquist bringing you the latest in today's sports. Coming up next, a surprise in the sky brought to you by the Red Dragon. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine, lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50 percent. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer. For more information, visit cancer.net. The U.S. military has been monitoring what seems to be a Chinese surveillance balloon that's been hovering over the northern U.S. for the past few days. <laughs> military and defense leaders have been debating whether or not to shoot the balloon down. I would. Once the balloon was detected, the U.S. government acted fast to protect against the collection of sensitive information. The high altitude balloons were first spotted over Billings, Montana, then it slowly made its way through Canada until finally coming back into Montana. Officials have stated that the balloon is still in the U.S., but did not disclose exactly where it was. Sounds like some pretty sketchy stuff, if you ask me, Ryan. Yeah, well, let's hope this minor incident doesn't escalate any further. I agree. A Florida man has been arrested for, arrested for allegedly biting off the head of a pet python in the middle of a fight. I have one question. What would that be, Ryan? Why did he bite off the head of a python? I have no idea. But Kevin Justin is accused of sinking his teeth into the snake after he got into an argument with a woman in the Culture Bay area Monday morning. An officer tried to use a taser on Mayorga after he refused orders to come out with his hands up, but was unable to eventually subdue him. He is facing charges of animal cruelty with the intent of killing and false imprisonment and resisting arrest. My yogurt is now being held on a $15,000 bond. I still don't understand why I decided to bite off the head of a snake. That, that, that's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Me. And that's it for today's news. If you like this episode, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the Rare TV YouTube channel down below. And most of all, stay warm. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend. weekend.